the Honey Queen here and it's peach season and I'm going to show you a recipe that takes you only like 10 minutes, 15 max. A lot of health benefits from our peaches which are one of my favorite fruit. Helps our eyes, our immunity, low calorie, vitamin C, helps our skin. You need to choose first a pretty large sized one, peach, and make sure it's firm, almost ripe but not quite. If you want to check out the peach test, I put my husband through a test with all the different peaches because he says, a peach is a peach is a peach. No, there is a difference, and we know that now, and he even agreed. So I like to get free stone, so what you first do is you cut it in half, and you pull out the pit, that's it. And the first thing you're going to do, I have olive oil on hand, you can do it several different ways. I'm going to do a very simple way. You brush the flesh, which is this side, with the olive oil, and then you turn it over and you brush the skin side. That's it. I already have the grill going. I went up 350 degrees. If it gets over 400, it's just going to burn, but you want those char marks on the peach. You can do this in the oven. You can do it in a cast iron pan. Totally up to you. I'm grilling it today. And let's head to the grill. The grill is heated to 350 degrees. You can do it three to five minutes. I like mine to have those char marks. So here we have the peach. I'm going to put it skin side down. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's sizzling. Love it. Set the timer for five minutes. See you in five minutes. Okay, your timer is set for five minutes. Our timer's going off. Siri, turn up the timer. And so I'm going to flip it. You don't move it at all while you're waiting. I know it takes a lot of patience. If they're too soft, they will just fall, they will fall apart. So I'm flipping them. Get the other side now. Five more minutes on this side. Then another five minutes. I wouldn't cook it any longer than that on each side because then it gets mushy. But if you want it to be more charred, you can turn the temperature up. I wouldn't go past 400. Then it tends to burn it and make it too mushy. So I'll take these off and we'll go in and see our toppings. There we have it. Mm -mm -mm. So what I do is I drizzle a little bit of honey on top. Not very much. Probably like maybe a teaspoon or less. And after I drizzle it, then I choose what else I want to put on it. This one, I am going to put almonds and flaky sea salt. Kind of give it a, like a, a salty, nutty taste. But you can do so many things. The options are immeasurable. You can do balsamic vinegar. You can do melted dark chocolate, crushed nuts of any sort, um, ice cream, cinnamon, fresh thyme, brie, mascarpone, cheese. Those are cheeses. Mozzarella, brown sugar, butter, vanilla, rosemary. The list goes on. serve this with a meal like salad or a sandwich. You could even cut it up with a salad. Um, pizza goes great on pizza, believe it or not, just like pineapple. You can do a sandwich, steak, any barbecue, corn on the side, um, pork. I'm trying to think of some other things. Chicken, did I say chicken? I think so. It lasts about four days in the refrigerator and by the taste test, you should know my favorite is Diamond Princess. Although the Lucky 13 was really close. All right, so did you, grandchildren, did you find the bee? Yep, it's on my bee dress. There it is. Kind of a fun little dress. I don't think I wear it everywhere every day, but people that know me understand. Have a sweet day, 
and be sure to subscribe and share and check me out on all the other social medias. Join my groups, my Facebook groups and my Instagram so you can know any giveaways or what's happening or sales or anything going on. Peaches. A couple things I want to add on is I want to dedicate this to my daughter-in-law Kennedy because she introduced us to the world of peaches and how we discovered the diamond princess one. Mm -mm -mm. The other thing is, I wouldn't eat these right off from experience. I would let them rest a little bit. And the third thing is that hollow part that's kind of scooped out where the peach pit was, that's where you put the ice cream and the cheese and everything. The honey drizzled over the top just adds to the sweetness. Have a sweet life.